All right, you can probably already tell by the title. Today, I just wanted to come on for a short little video and introduce you guys to the new member of our family. Trust me, this has been so hard to hide off of Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and everything. But if you guys watched my vlog channel, you saw in my last vlog, I talked about how Cal and I were ready to adopt a puppy. And today, I thought it was only proper to introduce her to the main channel first. You guys are the OGs, you guys know. Everybody say a warm welcome to the new member of our family, Moana! I'll add some cheers behind. Hello, queen. Everybody welcome, Moana. I don't wanna to scream too much for her. She's a little, little scared right now. So Moana is very new to the family. We picked her up literally yesterday. I will insert in some clips of us picking her up now. I'm so excited. So excited. Moana really likes Cal. <gasps> that was the best puppy reveal I've ever seen. Yes, yeah, see grandma. <laughs> Can you imagine when I have a kid? I've been waiting for you, princess. I like her a lot. <laughs> oh, she's so precious. <laughs> He's Sim Nation. So we adopted Moana from a rescue. The rescue is called Sweet Paws and Meows. I'll leave their link down below. They're an amazing, amazing organization. You guys know I bought Daisy six years ago from a pet store, which is something that I am not proud of. At the time, I think I didn't realize how bad pet stores really were. I think they're actually illegal now, which is good. At the time, obviously pet stores weren't illegal. And after I got Daisy, I recognized the importance of adopting and rescuing. I decided when I was ready for my next dog that I would absolutely adopt. So that's why when I was ready, I I went and looked at a bunch of rescues. I contacted and applied for so many dogs. And finally, I got the call that I was able to adopt little Moana. Name is still TBD. Please comment down below what name you think that we should name her. I will say we've been calling her Momo and I feel like it just kind of sticks with little Mo, but we're open to names. So please comment down below what you think we should name her. So how they found Moana was the mom was rescued. The dad had left. The mom only had one eye and she was left with three puppies, Moana being one of them. They think she's like a Maltese mix of some sort. So she's hypoallergenic, which is amazing because I am allergic to dogs. So overall, it's just been the dream. She's been such a good dog. I've had her for one night. She's already like really good with potty training. Last night was a dream. She was so good. She's just chill. Currently editing the video right now uh, <laughs> while I'm editing the quiet little angel. <laughs> the owls are so cute. I want to go pick her up, but you can't pick them up while they're crying because then they're gonna think that it's okay and if they cry, they get picked up. My heart is breaking, I love her so much. Oh, we took a water break, we're quiet again. Quick little water break. Also check in from Daisy. We are thriving. Oh, the puppy fell asleep again, lovely. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna nibble? We're gonna nibble. Be sure to watch my vlog channel if you guys wanna see all the behind the scenes of everything and see her grow up, obviously, a little bit more. Also, when I was doing my research for the puppy, I went online and I saw some YouTube videos of like essentials of what people were buying. So in case you're stumbling across this video and you are looking for puppy essentials for yourself, then hopefully I can help you out. If not, you just wanna watch the cute puppy. I get it. And let's get started. First up, I got Moana a little bed, actually a big bed for little Moana. She has been loving this bed. I will say I'm also crate training her and I got a little play pen already. So she's been sitting in the living room, sitting in there. She has her pee pad, she has her bed, she has some toys and she's been loving it, haven't you? Hello kisses. Thank you. A big essential is just getting them like a comfy bed. And then also if you're gonna crate train them, putting something soft on the bottom so they can sleep in it. And so far she's been doing really well. And now she's nibbling on my finger. Next up, I picked up some puppy shampoo and puppy wipes just to give her a bath. She's gonna need a bath pretty soon because she's getting smelly. Oh, you wanna bite it? There we go. These are definitely essential. These are really good just to wipe them down if they have a mess or you know have like a little bit of an accident, they walk in something. You can just wipe them down and these are made for puppies so they're really good. Oh my gosh, okay, I got these little things that I found on Amazon, which I got one for Daisy and I got one for Momo, just so they could have their own, obviously. Oh, we have a little rambunctious puppy walking around. Obviously, I can't take Mo for walks yet just because she's so little. She needs to get all her shots and everything before we can take her. But when I take Daisy on walks and then eventually when I can take her, these are really cute little bottles Mom, look at this, where you fill this up with water and then it's really easy to dispense when you're out on walks for them. You just push this button, it dispenses and they can drink it out of this little thing. Check it out. 
Cool, huh? So I got Mo pink one and I got Daisy this little turquoise one. Do you like? Oh, she doesn't like. <laughs> As I said, she can't go on walks yet, but I did get her a little harness and a little leash just to take her. Oh, why are we crying? This is just for her eventually. She's so little. I don't think this is actually gonna fit her. Be so gentle. Yes, so gentle. Here she is in her extra small harness. Oh, you're swimming in it. It's far too big for you right now. Eventually when she's ready, we've got a little harness. We got a little leash. Don't worry, not for a while. I also picked up these little silicone food and water bowls. It's shaped like a bone. They have a bunch of different colors, but it's nice because it's silicone, so it's easy cleanup. The bowls are really tiny, obviously, so it's perfect for her to reach in. And her neck isn't being craned or anything, so we got a little water bowl. We got a little food bowl, and she's been loving it so far, haven't you? These were absolutely essential. So far, she has been loving them. It was a pack of three little baby blankets. The pink one is upstairs in her crate, which I did get her a crate already, I think I said that. This one came with like a purple one and a brown one, and she has been loving it. We just placed them all around. We swaddle her up. She's loving. She looks so cute all wrapped up in them and it's keeping her nice and warm also because it's been colder outside. Anytime she's cold, she likes to lay with them and she just looks so cute. And they're also so soft and washable, which is best. Moving on, as you can see, toys are a must. She loves, loves, loves toys. I found a bunch of packs online that were really inexpensive because pet toys can get pretty pricey. I found this pack that has this little cow in it that she's been loving. It's like her new little friend. It came with little ropes that you can play with them like this. Do you like that? Oh, we love it, yes. She's also teething obviously, so I got her some like rubber toys. I haven't opened up this pack yet, but there's a bunch of other little, oh, a little waste bag dispenser. There's just lots of stuff going on. I've just found online, they have way cheaper toys. So if you're going to buy them, get them online. And you can get a giant variety pack for the price of like a couple at the pet store. Next up, I picked this up at Petco. This seems really cool. We've yet to use it. Oh, I have such an audience. She's been so good with the pee pads, but eventually I'd like to level up to this. Basically, it's like a little indoor astroturf. It's got like the grass on top and then underneath it comes with like a little mat kind of thing that you can wash. And I think that's where the pee like sinks down to. I don't know, I'm guessing you buy other ones of that, you can keep washing them and reusing it, which I'm sure is a lot more eco-friendly than the disposable ones. So I will figure out how to use this and let you guys know if I like it. But I thought it was a really good idea. And last but not least, as I said, I have been using pee pads. If you are going to purchase them, I would say get them from Costco if you have a membership because they are What's wrong? We'll wrap this up, because someone needs to go play. Also, by the way, Daisy's doing very, very well. Daisy is literally unbothered. She's the same exact Daisy. She's been getting so much attention, if not more attention, because obviously we're aware that having a new little pup in the house is probably confusing for her. So we've been taking all the precautions to make sure that she feels normal. She's doing just fine. As I was saying, if you're gonna get pee pads, get them from Costco because they are worlds cheaper. Also, Amazon has them online and they are cheaper there than at the pet store as well. But again, as I said, I would like to move on from using these because they're so wasteful and switch up to the reusable turf because that just seems Great. So yeah, those are our puppy essentials and I'm glad you guys got to meet little Mo. And again, I just wanted to encourage you guys to adopt if you are able to, if you're looking to bring a new friend into your home. I've seen rescues and shelters post so many of their different pets that they have online, like tons of photos, especially with COVID and everything. They have like all the dogs, they have bunnies, they have turtles, cats, everything posted online. So it makes it really nice and easy. So I highly encourage you guys, if you have allergies, it is possible to find a hypoallergenic dog or animal to adopt. So I highly recommend. So far it's been wonderful, the rescue was amazing, and I had the best time. So I love you guys, and I'll be back this week with another normal video. Obviously just had to meet the little pup. But yeah, see you guys later, thanks for watching, bye.